My favorite track from Blunderbuss is the third track, Freedom of 21, because I think it's just got a really catchy, cool little riff, and I like, like, I like when Jack White comes up with catchy little, like, and these little hooks is what he's really good at. So it's, it's basically the second riff, so I open up this tab, and this tab is super accurate, because this song's real easy. So the second part, I think, is the catchiest, but the first part, you go. <laughs> So it's going to be B to D, back to B, A, and E. So it's cool to figure out the notes a little bit when you're learning songs this easy. So it's basically like B, B, D, B, B, A, E, two, two, five, two, two, two. So that's the first part. And then the part I think is real cool is... What's cool about that to me is it's so easy, but it sounds good. Like, like it seems like anyone can make this up, but it's just hard to come up with stuff like this that's as catchy. So two, then you put your third finger there, your middle finger there on three, and then so this is a real common thing to do. G to so like kind of this D over F sharp. He just does this. That's really the entire song, so it's super basic, super fun to play, and then you hear like an E major later. And he has like something that lowers it, so the pitch gets lower, and then he just goes up for a soul. Starts climbing up the string just kind of randomly, and then he ends up on like these notes. So this little box will give you most of the notes, but you could also do it like. I mean, I would just mess around with this box and start to get the sound of what he's doing. So it's 17, 15, and 17. Um, so let me do the parts really slow in case someone's a total beginner. Because this kind of stuff seems really easy if you've been playing guitar for a long time, but if you're a total beginner, it's not. So two, I'll do the first part again. you see it like this. So it's kind of in the bass. Or it's just a descending thing. So however you want to think about it, it's just cool so to start noticing these patterns. And E major is just zero two two one zero zero. And the stuff he's using to solo over it is E minor for the time. Well, he does a ton of songs in that key. So anyways, it's a pretty catchy song, super fun to play. Hope this lesson helped whoever's trying to learn it. Bye.